In the model range of Mercedes there are different cars from a tiny smart to a main hauler. Therefore, today we will consider a Sprinter, and not the easiest, but with the prefix classic, that is, the Russian assembly. Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Classic appeared on our market after a scandal. In 2013, the Sollers Group, which produces Ford Transit, pushed through huge anti-dumping duties, and it was the Germans who suffered the most from the new laws. For Mercedes, the customs duty soared to 40% of the cost of a new car. As a result, the German brand had to arrange the production of trucks in Russia as a model, the Sprinter before last at that time was chosen, and the Gorky automobile plant was determined as the assembly site. Moreover, Mercedes immediately swung not at a screwdriver assembly, but at full cycle production, that is, with welding and painting. To localize production, the Daimler attracted 11 domestic suppliers of Russian origin, even the front panel in the cockpit and the engine. It was assembled by the Yaroslavl motor plant. Why did he do it? Because a few months ago the Sprinter Classic quietly left Russia. The reasons why this happened are called very different, but the fact remains. You can't buy such a new car anymore, but is it worth looking for it on the used car market? Because the same Sprinters, but of German origin, seem to be quite in demand on the secondary market. Used Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Classic new ones can no longer be found, used versions start at 700,000-800,000 rubles, while an all-metal van or minibus prices are almost the same. The exception is the tourist versions, they are more expensive. As for the German old men, they can be pulled out for 200 or 300,000, but at the same time, you will have to invest almost the same amount, while a good version costs a million, 200 million, and it would seem that despite the not very low price tag, these options still find their owners. By the way, in terms of corrosion resistance, the Russian is even better than the German. Especially for us, Mercedes has worked on the quality of the paintwork, making it more durable. The Germans did not stint on the installation of a painting complex in Nizhny Novgorod for 50 million euros, but the build quality can upset. The doors do not slam shut as easily and clearly as on the Germans. As for the durability of the body, on the capital's roads it can rot to through holes in 7 to 8 years. First of all, this applies to minibuses which age the fastest. The reason is temperature fluctuations due to the constant opening of the door. In addition, in the salons of passenger versions, there is always high humidity. And of course, the reagents, their destructive effect is especially visible on cars that worked in Moscow outside of it. Even a 10-year-old minibus can look very decent. As for the interior, first of all, count the number of seats. It must match the data indicated in the documents, and even more so, check which category Mercedes belongs to. Often buses are made from vans, but the owners also forget to issue permits for such a modification. A well-known problem with all buses of this format is sliding doors. A rather successful design was used on the Sprinter, but anyway, after a while, it will need to be repaired. An alternative option, which many carriers practice, is to muffle the sliding door and organize the entrance and exit through the right swing door. But for this, of course, you will have to remove the seat to the right of the driver, and along the way, organize additional handrails. The owners most often applied for a bad pasted windshield, which let water pass through the junction. In addition, the conveyor did not learn how to install and adjust the sliding door. As a result, the owners of the sprinters demanded this from the dealers. The bodies had rust and sealant cracks along the drainage groove. On cars of the Nizhny Novgorod assembly, the parking brake cables froze and the problem was solved for two years. Also, the Webasto preheater sometimes threw up errors. The backlash of the ball bearings pursued the classic throughout his life, and the Russian Germans also experienced accelerated wear of the stabilizer bar bushings, as well as the backlash of the steering rack, they were changed under warranty. It happened a little less often in the leakage of the rear axle seals due to a pinched breather too. The knock of the front supports and the front shock absorbers themselves, and sometimes even the front axle spring burst. In terms of technology, the Classic is a body from a second-generation Sprinter, but with an engine from a third-generation Sprinter. Turbo Diesel Recall Yaroslavl Assembly There is absolutely no need to be afraid of this, although in addition to assembly operations, UMZ also performed machining of key parts, but in 2017 the Yaroslavl Motor Plant received the so-called Quality Award from Daimler. This means that the plant produces quality products. The assembly of motors and machining of parts fully complies with the German standards of efficiency and quality of the company. 
but the Yaroslavl motor plant is not at all to blame for the fact that the motor can go to the capital without waiting for 100,000 kilometers. Daimler engineers tritely simplified the design of the crankshaft, and technologists suggested using cheaper steel. As a result, the following happens. With age, the main bearings of the cylinder block acquire an elliptical output, and then a chain reaction starts. The main bearing caps are deformed and begin to dangle over time, from this the liners rotate, finally breaking the seats, and if the driver does not turn off the engine in time, the crankshaft will crack or break. As a rule, this happens between two main and two connecting rod necks and then the driver will see the consequences with his own eyes. When the connecting rod breaks through the cylinder block, and meanwhile a new short block costs an unbearable 600,000 rubles. But to eliminate the consequences of cranking the connecting rods is not a problem for work today they take less than 10,000 rubles. True, you will have to pay separately for the removal of the unit and, of course, spare parts in general, our menders are very, very familiar with these engines, and that's why. In 1983, a 2-liter naturally aspirated diesel engine appeared on the Mercedes-Benz 190 sedan, over time it acquired a turbocharger and others and innovations, when it was brought to Euro 4 standards, the index changed to on 646. So, despite the increased power, the base dimensions of cylinder blocks and crankshafts have not changed, and the crankshaft, as we have already said, has become even less durable so that buyers of all second-generation four-cylinder sprinters, both with and without the classic prefix, have a chance to get a lot of problems out of the blue. In this regard, five-cylinder options are more reliable. They have a lower load on the crankshaft bearings due to a larger number of supports, but with such motors you can only buy German cars, they stopped being produced back in 2006. On the other hand, for many carriers, fours go 300 to 500,000 kilometers without any problems at all. There are examples of millionaire motors. So the question seems to be in the driving modes and the timing of the oil change, when the lubricant meets the Mercedes tolerance changes in time, and the cars drive long distances with the engine there will be no problems. Glow plugs, as well as injectors, are recommended to be unscrewed at least once every 50,000 kilometers, and then put on thermal paste. If this is not done, they can turn sour and then the candles will have to be drilled. Unlike the engine, the gearbox is the standard of reliability. Unless the cable drive of the joystick from frequent switching can fail. In that scenario, there are very different ones, either the cables, and there are two of them here, are frayed, or the fork itself breaks. In some cases, the mechanism located directly on the joystick breaks. It is difficult to predict the timing when such a repair will be needed, for example, for fixed-route taxis it is 50 to 70,000 kilometers, and for cars operating on the intercity about 150,000. The same clutch statistics for fixed-route taxis have a clutch disc that lasts less than 100,000 kilometers, and some anti-record holders have only 50,000 but there are examples when clutches were changed at runs of 150,000 kilometers and even 200,000. In general, everything strongly depends on the operating conditions and, of course, the driving style of a particular driver, but there are no questions at all about the driveline and rear axle. This two sprinter is especially good because its successor turned out to be very problematic just in terms of transmission. Their outboard bearings serve for 30,000 kilometers and crosses for 70,000 but for the Sprinter Classic, all these details are considered almost eternal. From the side, the front suspension from the printer is very similar to a passenger car with stamped levers, shock absorber struts and a rack and pinion steering mechanism, but there is a very non-standard element, a powerful transverse spring, according to the manufacturer, such a scheme was chosen for layout considerations. Firstly, it allows you to maintain a good load capacity, but at the same time remove the wheel arches from under your feet that is, make the floor and the cab even, and especially for our roads, the Germans strengthened the shock absorbers and anti-roll bars. Moreover, the smoothness of the ride was not affected, and the greater the load, the more comfortable the car goes. Behind a purely spring suspension, however, in the ads you can find options from airbags, this is the result of not factory tuning. In Russia, they developed a kit that is literally installed in regular places in two or three hours, such a refinement costs about 35,000 rubles, including parts and work, as for the timing of updating the chassis, the front shock absorbers and wheel bearings are the first to be surrendered, this usually happens at 100,000 kilometers. By the way, ball joints can move away and all 300,000 kilometers of mileage can be replaced by yourself, 
and if you get a mandrel, that is, Salem blocks can be updated on your own. A second generation Sprinter, including a classic, is a car that doesn't have to be driven to a service, especially to replace brake pads, which cost 15 to 20,000 on a minibus. The popular belief is that the supposedly high prices for Mercedes parts are actually for old sprinters including classic branded components are really only a little cheaper than on the newest one. The second generation Mercedes-Benz Sprinter is a development of a 1995 model car, that is, a truck made using the technologies of the early 90s, and then, as you know, they knew how to make a car. Therefore, the commercial Mercedes turned out to be quite strong and hardy and, in addition, suitable for self-service. As for the classic version, the Russian assembly turned out to be by no means a reference one, although it did not seem to bring serious problems either. The general result is that there are no serious problems with the body if the vans and buses work far from the capitals, but with engines and gearboxes if the car goes long distance. In general, the second-generation Mercedes-Benz Sprinter proved to be a very reliable and durable car. At the same time, the costs of its operation, despite its solid pedigree, are relatively small, and the market price for resale is still relatively high.